Welcome to another episode of your daily dose of SAP Analytics Cloud. This time we will take a look how we can blend information from two models together. We will start with two spreadsheets. And as you can see, the first spreadsheet shows us the customers by country, a list of customers and the revenue for the last year. We have a second spreadsheet, which then shows us individual orders with a list of customers and the value that for this quarter. So we're going to quickly create two models. The first model will show the customers by country and the second model will show the orders. So we import the file, we select the sheet from the spreadsheet, and then we're going to actually configure the details in the model. So you can see we have a customer ID and we're going to configure the customer name as an attribute. And then we have a dimension for region, for country, and we have a measure for the revenue and for the discount. So then we're going to generate the model and save it. And then we can move forward and generate the second model, which will give us the order value for this year. So very similar, we import the spreadsheet. This time we choose the second sheet. And we can see we have the customer ID with the customer name. We have the order ID and we have the value. In addition, we have the order date as well. So we need to make sure that one is configured correct. So after that, we generate the model and we save it as well. And then we can start setting up the story with the blended information. So now we can go ahead, set up the new story. And before we put a chart in, we're going to set up the linking. So we go to the link dimension option on the left hand side, we we'll choose the customer by country and on the right hand side, the orders by customer. Please note that you can choose uh, to link on IDs or description, and you can also switch the display between the ID and descriptions, which is very important specifically on the join to make sure we're actually joining IDs with IDs and descriptions with descriptions. So in our case, we're going to join on the customer ID. We're making sure we pick up the IDs from both sites. We confirm the join, and then we can start adding a chart into our story. So we're going to choose the customers by country as our primary model. We're going to then add the linked model, in our case, the orders by customer. And then we can put the elements into the chart. So now you can see we offered always both models. So we can choose the customer ID. And we also shown the measures and we offered both models. So we can choose elements from both of the models. So in case revenue 2019, and we're going to add basically the order value for 2020. It's also important to note because we do have a linked model, we do have actually additional option. We have the option to configure a link type. In our case, we have three options, all the primary data. In our case, that would be customer by country. Think of it as a left join. We have all data, which would be more like a union. And we have the intersecting data, which would be like an inner join. But we also have things like an active linked dimension. We will come to that in an additional episode where we take a look how we can, for example, enforce a link even for information that is not shown and what the impact of that would be for the aggregation of values. So in our case, we're also going to put a table into our story and we do the similar things. We will start with customer by country as the primary model. 
we add the orders by customers and then we're going to choose the customer ID to be shown in the rows. Now remember we uploaded two spreadsheets so both of our models have an account dimension. So before we can choose individual measures we first need to add the account dimension from the second model as well and then we can basically use the standard filter and choose which measure from which model we want to filter and show in our table. I hope this gave you a quick introduction in how you can blend information in SAP Analytics Cloud. And thank you for watching and listening.